Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. I'm very excited today. We're in the beautiful Pemina Valley, and today we're gonna to be having a look at the Murphy Bed Lounge Floor Plan. We build this beautiful floor plan on two different chassis. We build the Unity on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, and we build the beautiful Wonder on the Ford Transit chassis. You've got a great big dry bathroom, stand-up shower, nice big TV, an optional outside TV, and of course, we've got a great big Murphy bed that comes down, plus the Truma air conditioner, furnace, and of course, ducted air conditioning front to back. You have great interior storage and lots of exterior storage all around 25 feet head to toe. You can take it anywhere you want, state parks, federal parks, provincial parks. So let's have a look at this amazing 2024 Unity Murphy Bed Lounge. Incredible floor plan, you're gonna absolutely love it. Hey, welcome inside the 2024 Unity Murphy Bed Lounge, which we call the MBL. We have two reclining lounging chairs, absolutely fantastic. Big 40 inch pop-up smart TV. I can watch it high, watch it low, and look how much room we have. Big kitchen, big stand-up bathroom in the back, nice big Murphy bed in behind here. So let's talk about interior decor colors. Of course, we use ultra fabrics on all of our seating areas. This is Dove. We also have sand and clay. We have three different wood colors that you can pick. This is rift oak. We also have white oak and mocha. And we also have a great interior option for the white upper cabinets. You can use the Bianca White Fenix product, comes out of Italy. We have two different Corian countertops. We have Antarctica white and concrete. Absolutely beautiful. You can customize the motor room exactly the way you want. This is the new leisure lounge area. So I have kind of a day bed, which is absolutely fantastic. If I want to have a little nap, I can without the bed being down. Plus, this makes into a dinette area. Let me show you how simple this is. So I'll go from a sofa area, look at this, and now I've got a dining room area. This pops up for back support, and look at this. Absolutely fantastic. So reclining lounge chairs, sofa, dinette, work area, breakfast, dinner, lunch, snacks, playing games, portable office, why not? I've got our landscape window up above there with reading lights. This is one great motorhome. Oh, I love this area. Both the Mercedes-Benz seats turn and swivel and become part of the motorhome. Lots of space, lots of room. Optional table up front here if you want a secondary table, work table, want to watch TV, sit back, have a coffee up front. And you can see the floor extends all the way into the cab area. So there's no drop down into the cab, which most motorhomes have, or bump your head. I'm not gonna have to worry about bumping my head, but you can see I can easily go front to back in the motorhome. But look how beautiful this linoleum is. It actually, you have to get down on your hands and knees. It really feels like ceramic tile and it's not, but absolutely fantastic. This motorhome is full of surprises. So a couple little small things. I love this Corian countertop here, but look, I can watch the TV low. I can use the motorhome. It's fully functional with the slide out in. You can actually even have the bed down slide out in, which is really cool. Always be looking at the slide out when it's going in and out, very important. So with the slide out in, the motorhome is still fully functional. So I can go from the cab area, somebody wants to get a drink out of the fridge, so I can walk over to the fridge, use the galley area, I can use the bathroom, fully functional motorhome with the slide out in, plus you can still have the bed down, slide out in, very cool. And now you can see when I put the slide out back out, look how much floor space I gain, how much living space, how much breathing space. Look at that, slide outs now out, and you can see how much room we have. I can do my Pilates, I can do my yoga exercises in the morning, which I do every morning. I can do my sit-ups, why not? Look at this, we can still do it, you know? This is cool, yeah, right on. Okay, let's show the bed real quick. So we're gonna put in our cushion here, it's gonna give us a support. Look at this, these two cushions move out, boom, slides down. This one slides over here, this one slides down here. We're all live time, live time, let's do this. Boom, we got two little locks here, safety locks. They move down, bed comes down. Look at this, boom, boom, bed is made. Look at that, somebody made my bed. I am sound asleep, thank you. Good night. Okay, my mom would hit the roof because I still have my shoes on, so I gotta kick those off. But look at this, look how much room we have. Put my pillow here, go to sleep. Look how big this is. I can sleep this way almost. 
I can sleep this way, I can sleep diagonally. And if you're not sleeping, look at this, we got built-in headrests. Oh, I love that. Pop up TV, watch TV, do some work. I got built-in reading lights. I got LED lights here. I control the whole motorhome right off the multiplexing system here. I can turn all the lights off, turn all the lights on. But here's the big thing. This is a walk around bed, just like you have at home. So I can slide out. I'm not gonna bother the other person next to me. I can walk all the way around to the bathroom or to the fridge to grab a drink. I can walk all the way back into the bedroom without bothering anybody. Absolutely fantastic. Landscape window and awning style window. Look at this. Opens up for fresh air ventilation, which is very, very nice. And nighttime shades for privacy at night. Absolutely love it. This is one fantastic bedroom area. You have lots of room. We are 65 inches wide. We are 75 inches long. Knock those down, go back to bed. Have a sleep, wake up in the morning, flip the bed back up. You can see how fast it is like that. From a dining room area, back into a bedroom area, and bang, I can flip it back up into a dining room area, living area. Full walk around bed, and as I mentioned earlier, you can bring in the slide out. So you have the bed down, bring in the slide out. Park area where you're not allowed to have the slide out or a rest area, maybe a Walmart. You're not supposed to have your slide outs out, but you wanna have a little nap, daytime nap, whatever. Look at this. Slide out fully in, bed fully down. Can I have a little cat nap, little nap? I think it's absolutely fantastic. I like this, yes, this is good. 75 inches north and south. Okay, this is how fast the bed goes back up. Once again, live time, no commercial breaks. We're doing this live, so we're just gonna put this on. You can leave your bedding on there, you can't go past this height. Put your pillows against the back there. This slides up and look at this, look how simple. Look at that, up it goes. Lock it in place, lock it in place, knock this down. Boom, look at this, I'm back into the leisure lounge area here. Sofa, daytime, right? Simple, boom, knock it up. Breakfast is served. Look how simple that was, absolutely. Nice little area right here for your CPAP machine when the bed is down. Inverted plug so you can plug it in at night. We also have USB-C and USB-A chargers right there. We have some more here. We also have our carbon monoxide detector right here. And of course our switch here for our beautiful leisure lounge chairs. And you actually love this with the cross ventilation. We have our windows open on this side. We have our windows open here. Lots of cross ventilation. We have daytime shades. We also have nighttime shades. And of course our beautiful smart TV, 40 inch pop-up TV. And then over here, you can plug in your DVD player if you want, Blu-ray player, or you can bring your PlayStation, plug it in there, watch it off this TV. We also have a beautiful sound bar for great sound and streaming Bluetooth if you wanna to listen to your favorite music throughout the motorhome. So above here, we got some beautiful storage area, nice deep storage, which is really important. Curved doors, European hidden hinges, soft clothes as well. We have a great option, T four satellite dish. It does dish, direct, or bell. It can go up on the roof. We're pre-wired for a portable satellite dish as well. You could plug it in one of the inverted plugs. And we've also got a wine guard, Wi-Fi booster, TV antenna, and you can also have 4G capabilities. It's called the Wine Guard 2.0. That's done right here, so you can turn that on and off. You can pay for the service through Wine Guard and buy minutes, or you can get a secondary SIM card and put it into the Wi-Fi booster up on the roof, and you can be your own walking hotspot. So that's standard on all Unity models. Up here, we've got some more storage above the cab area. This is our Leisure Lounge pouch with all of our warranty manuals right in here. Over here, I've got my privacy curtain that goes around the windshield, so I have privacy at night. So all of your warranty information is in here. Second set of keys is in here as well. And our optional safe, very nice, optional safe that goes right there. Storage over here and some storage back up in here. So lots of little storage areas in the Murphy Bed Lounge. Multiplexing, this is our main monitor right here, just in the cab area. So this controls the entire motor. And you can see that I'm on my home screen right here. You can see my freshwater tank's almost empty, gray's almost empty, black is 11% full, and my propane is 25% full. I can turn on my air conditioner. I can turn on my furnace. I can turn on my fans. Here's my light, so I can turn my lights on and off right here. This is my control center for my operator 
optional generator. We have an LP generator, 3.6. It also has auto gen start. You come to this screen here and you can set the generator. For example, quiet time, have it come on at a certain time, turn off at a certain time. You can also set it by thermostat so that if it get, you have pets in the motorhome and it gets too warm, you can have the generator come on and cool the motorhome down. So that's all done right here. And the other really cool thing is you can download the app and you can run the motorhome off of your smartphone, which is really cool. So I can turn lights on, turn lights off. We also have secondary multiplexing panels throughout the motorhome, which you'll see, and you can control that area off of the multiplexing system or just use your phone. Have a look up here, our beautiful six foot four interior height to here, six five here. I love the opening skylight. Look at this, absolutely fantastic. Lots of natural light and ventilation. If you got a few bugs like we have here, I can bring this across. And if you're in the hot sun, I can have some ventilation coming in and turn the sun off or, you know, maybe half and half, which is really cool, but you're gonna absolutely love the opening skylight. And we have the new Truma Aventa air conditioning, 13,500 BTU. It runs pin quiet and you can plug it into a 120 plug. So if you're at home, you can plug it into an electrical plug and run the air conditioner. Provides lots of cool air and, and look at this beautiful LED lighting, nice soft lighting throughout the motorhome. You can also dim it as well. Look how much beautiful natural lighting I have. And of course, ducted air conditioning, even in the bathroom. That is so cool. That is really cool. Did you get that one? Cool, ducted air. Cool, that is really cool. Okay, right above the entrance door, these are the things that aren't controlled by the multiplexing system. So a couple little things, optional four point leveling jacks, that's all controlled right here. Press the button, they automatically level and they automatically retract. Optional solar panels, we have 200 watts or 400 watts. They're a hard panel up on the roof, so you can go either option. This controls your solar panels, tells you how much sun power you have coming in and where your battery level is. Right here, we have our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, which is standard on all Unities. And then over here, we have our slide out control. Remember always be looking at the slide out when it's coming in and out. And right here we have our heating switch for our lithium batteries. We have standard 200 amps of lithium batteries. And if it gets cold out, lithium batteries don't like to take or give a charge in the cold. You would then turn on the heaters to keep them warm. Right here we have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So that is going to convert our battery powers into 120 volt power. So you can charge your cell phones or computers, things like that. And only turn that on if you were dry camping. If you are not dry camping and you're plugged into shore power, we would leave our inverter off. In the door area, some really cool things. Our lithium batteries are right underneath here. Easy access to those. And I like this place to put my shoes so you don't have them in the step well. You're not going to fall and hurt yourself. Fire extinguisher. we got some storage area. Lit handle for getting in and out of the motorhome. Place here to hang your jackets. One of our secondary multiplexing panels right here. So let's say you're going out for a walk at night. Boom. Turn all the lights off. Go for a walk. I like this at night. Beautiful privacy shade. Locks right in place, magnets in. And I really like this screen door, as you can see here. I like this because it's got metal support. So if you have pets, they're not gonna go th flying through the screen door and you have lots of cross ventilations. Okay, we're up in the galley area. Let's talk about this beautiful, fantastic fan. Once again, it runs off of our multiplexing system. You can see how much air that's gonna pull a lot of air out when you're cooking. If you're dry camping and you're not running your air conditioner, you can use this to cool the motorhome off at night. All the warm air going out. You have three different settings for speed. And once again, everything is controlled off the multiplexing system. Open and close it by simply pressing the button or using your smartphone. Up above here, once again, more interior storage cabinets, lots of deep cabinets. This can handle full size plates. I always say, take the microwave plate. When you're looking at motorhomes, if the microwave plate fits in the cabinet, then it's a cabinet. You can see how simple it closes, soft close, locks in place, little storage underneath here. Once again, we got a nice big picture window overlooking our river over there. We have our awning style windows, which means when they open up, it can be pouring rain outside and you can have the windows open. No rain's gonna come in. Lots of ventilation as well. We also have daytime shades. You can see we have built-in locks right here. They lock in place so you can have the windows open. Wind can be blowing. It's not gonna blow all over the place. And we have nighttime shades as well. Look at that with built-in locks. They lock right in place. I can have the windows open at night. They're not gonna blow all over the place. Look at this beautiful counter area. This is for a Keurig machine. 
fits right in there. You can use it for storage. You can use it for whatever you want, but you can see it's always solid chlorine, which is really, really important. Look at this. I love this. This is from when you're washing dishes. This is so smart. You put the dishes in there and they will drip dry and you have a great little storage area. That is so smart. Chrome faucet as well. I like this that you can be cooking and pouring water. And I love this. We have a nice accessory rack here, paper towel holder. That's so important. If you don't have a paper towel holder, you know, you go crazy, right? Place here for spices, space here for spices, controller for our multiplexing system for this area, stainless steel, backsplash, two burner spark ignition stove, built-in backsplash. Look at how simple it is to fire up and we are cooking. Okay, let's talk about some drawers. We need some storage space. Look at this, utility center here. Once again, soft close, nice big storage area, full water filtration on all Unity motorhomes. And this is a slide out lock. People always ask, what's this for? Secondary lock. When you're traveling down the road, you can put the slide out lock in just in case. Look at this nice, deep pot and pan drawer. If you don't have a pot and pan drawer, where are you going to put your pots and pans? We have a pot and pan drawer. I love this. The brand new for 2024 pull-out pantry. This has all been redesigned, all aluminum. The pantry is actually wider so I can put more of my Jenny Craig weight loss stuff in, which obviously I don't use. Okay, from a pull-out pantry, look at this. We have a built-in garbage can. And right over here, you can see easy access to our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. So easy access into there and our built-in garbage can. Oh, listen to the sound of that. Okay, on the other side of the galley, we've got our convection microwave. So a convection microwave will do both microwave and you can bake as well. So convection microwave, nice big convection microwave right there. And then we have a brand new 12 volt, 6.2 cubic foot Norcold refrigerator. You heard me correctly, 12 volt runs off your house batteries. You're going to love this fridge. Look at this separate fridge. And look at this, pull out freezer on the bottom and look how much room we have here. This is gonna keep my Jenny Craig ice cream nice and frozen all the time. Love the recessed handles, absolutely fantastic. Plus it's got some energy saving modes and nighttime modes as well, which keeps the compressor quiet at night when you're sound asleep. And some other great features on the 12 volt electric fridge, adjustable shelves inside the fridge and on the door. Plus you don't have to be level at all when you're driving down the road no matter what, hills, climbing, mountains, driving, the fridge is still operating at full power because don't forget it runs off a 12 volt. And speaking of that, for charging the house batteries, we don't have to worry about that. We have our alternator in our chassis, which is charging the house batteries. When you're plugged into shore power, we're charging the house batteries. When you turn on your generator, we're charging the house batteries. Or if you have the optional solar panels up on the roof, you are trickle charging the house batteries. And the power that you get from the solar panels, that's free power to run the fridge. Absolutely fantastic. The Norcold 12 volt fridge. Look at this beautiful storage area. I love this. These can pop in and out. So either I can have it as a hanging closet or I can have it as storage area. This is uh, the Rift Oak, which is absolutely fantastic. Little drawer here for storage. Once again, soft close and look, full drawer extension glide. See how they come all the way out? Super solid, not cheap particle board. Right here, we have our control area for our breakers and our fuses, so easy access into that. Hey, come on into the bathroom. Not too many people talk about the bathroom in a small motor room, but we have a complete walk-in dry bathroom. HGTV, Brian Baumner, would absolutely love this beautiful pocket door. Look at that. Slides in place. You can lock it in place here, but come on into the bathroom because it is very big for a small motorhome with a big stand-up shower, glass curved doors. Come on in. Okay, the Unity Murphy Bed Lounge has what's called a dry residential bathroom, three-piece bathroom, toilet, shower, sink area, nice little vanity area. So you've got a nice, look at how big this shower is. I'm not the smallest guy in the world, but as you can see, I have lots of room to turn and shower. Take my shower head, I can move it off. I can control the water flow, little water restriction there. Locks back in place. I love the skylight, it creates what? Almost what, six, 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 seven to the top. Right here you can dry your towels, bathing suits and clothes. You wanna wash your clothes and drip dry them back into the shower pan, absolutely. I love the handle here for getting in and out. 
Got a beautiful LED lights built into the shower area. And here we've got our beautiful macerator toilet. Now what a macerator toilet does is it turns up all the solids and shoots them into the black tank so everything is in a liquid state. You just simply press this and the macerator will come on, turn up everything and shoot it down. I also have my secondary control panel for my multiplexing system. And right above the toilet area, we have a fantastic fan. Look at this, use your multiplexing system or on your smartphone and you can turn the fan bring the lid up bring everything out all the hot air is going out of the motor home three different settings hit the button and bring the fan back down it's all on the control panel i love this right here we've got an awning style window so i have some natural light in my bathroom and then of course privacy as well with the nightshade as well so nice big bathroom area separate toilet separate shower and then on this side we have the vanity big dressing mirror for getting ready in the morning and of course we've got our leisure travel van clothing make sure you check out our leisure travel van store we've got hats and cats and shirts so when you're driving in your leisure travel van you can have the leisure travel van logo and the gear on you're going to look fantastic but i love the big mirror right there place here for storage as well solid corian countertops and look at this nice big area down underneath here easy access to your water pump and then over on the other side we've got some serious storage look at this beautiful hanging closet you can adjust the shelves so you can have shelves or full hanging look at this drawers lots and lots of drawers and storage and deep storage and soft clothes as well and this you're going to absolutely love for your towels and linens look at that pulls all the way out over on this side we have our accessory channel Put your toothpaste, your toothbrushes, nice little sink right here, chrome faucet. Also, we have some great hooks here for hanging towels, hooks there. And we also have a 110 electrical plug right here. You can see down there, we've got ducted heating throughout the entire Murphy Bed Lounge on the Unity. Very energy efficient propane heat throughout the entire motorhome. What a great bathroom. I mean, it's a residential style bathroom. You're gonna absolutely love it. Hey, what a great motorhome. The Unity Murphy Bed Lounge, MBL, absolutely fantastic. Reclining lounging chairs. You can make it into a day bed, into a sofa. You've got the beautiful Murphy bed that comes down. Sleeping for two or three. Nice big galley area. Convection microwave, our refrigerator, three-piece dry bathroom. Lots and lots of living space. Plus you got your 40-inch smart TV, sound bar, ducted air conditioner, interior storage. And let's talk about what powers this beautiful motorhome down the highway. We've got the brand new Sprinter chassis more horsepower more foot pounds of torque and it has all the convenience features and safety features of a high-end mercedes-benz suv there are so many incredible features on the mercedes-benz sprinter 3500 series cutaway chassis let's just start off with a couple numbers 11,030 pound gvwr gcwr gross combined weight rating is 15,250 pounds We've got the brand new two-stage turbo four-cylinder engine, which is 208 horsepower. Previous generation was 188. 332 foot-pounds of torque, so more horsepower, more foot-pounds of torque, nine-speed automatic transmission. We order all of our chassis from Mercedes-Benz with as many safety features as we can, including front collision impact assist, your side wind assist, so it'll automatically break if you get some high winds, and with the lane keeping assist as well. If you go outside your lane, you'll feel it kind of break a little bit. We also have traffic sign assist, which is really cool. If you're not sure what the speed limit is in an area, it'll monitor it right there on the control center. We also have the high performance LED headlamps, which are really cool, and the fog lamps. It's got a tension assist. It'll tell you if you're getting tired, pull over, go have a cup of coffee. And if you do a lot of driving at night, it also has high beam assist, so you can leave your high beams on. When it senses more lights coming at you, it turns the high beams off, and then turn the high beams back on when you're rolling down the highway and not bothering anybody with the high beams. Adaptive cruise control. You can have different lengths of distances between the vehicle in front of you. We have the new rear view mirror. I can full time watch what's behind me if you have a tow vehicle super smart that's new 10.25 inch mbux monitor panel and we also have brand new floor mats we always order the chrome grill because that just looks great it has the brand new wet wipers built in for cleaning your windshield it's big inside it's easy to get in and out of the motorhome right you got lots of room and they've got some great comfort features power heated seats 
and that's all done right here on the control panel. I love how the two Mercedes-Benz captain's chairs become part of the motorhome. They even have a leg extension for us guys with long legs or ladies with long legs. Plus we reupholster the seats in ultra fabric so they're super comfortable. And I love the fact that they've got airbags built in to the seats, airbag, 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 airbag so we have airbags keep us nice and safe when we're going down the road we have power windows this has also got electric steering it is unbelievable power brakes we also have the heated power outside mirrors tilted steering telescopic steering absolutely fantastic locks in place i love all the little map lights here right here we have the 10.25 inch mbux monitor panel and it's like an ipad so i can uh, set up phones navigation which is all voice activated hey mercedes It'll how can i help hi mercedes you can find me the nearest campground to where i'm located i never have to take my eyes off the road when i'm driving down the road hey mercedes is going to help us out make sure that you sign up with mercedes benz for mercedes me connect you get it free for three years and you can actually have an app and start your chassis remotely and they have some other great things that they do so make sure you sign up for that i have am fm radio and sirius radio which is a subscription charge and you can also hook up different media devices to the uh, listen to your own favorite music that you want to all the info about the chassis and everything is right here engine consumption you can set it up for kilometers or miles per hour you also have a lot of that same information here so I have my current fuel consumption. It'll tell you exactly what's going on in the motorhome. You can move it over to miles per hour, kilometers, how long the chassis has been running for, fuel consumption from the start. You can check your DEF right here. And you can also check how much your particulate trap is full or not full. So everything is very convenient and it's all at your fingertips. You can have my radio information here, media information. Hey Mercedes, buy me a diesel gas station. You won't need it because we're getting 18% better fuel economy. Love it, thank you Mercedes. See, we have tons and tons of cup holders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 cup holders, absolutely love that. Plus you've got some charging ports here. We have a USB-C charging port here as well, two of them. We also have a wire wireless charging pad right here as well. And then you also have a 12 volt charging plug here and a 12 volt pl charging plug right here. And we also have a USB-C charging port as well. So lots of places to charge all of your electronics when you're driving down the road. Down below here, I've got a place just in case you get a warning from Mercedes that doesn't understand where the key is, put that in there, bang, you can fire it up. With those USB-C charging ports, your Android Auto and your Apple CarPlay will run right off the main monitor. And of course, right here, we have our climate control area where I can turn on my air conditioner or my heat, all digital, just move up the switches up or down. This this is panoramic view, right? I can see everything. If you have a leisure travel van on order or you have one, make sure you sign up to my LTV. That is one fantastic program. All manuals, product videos. While your motorhome is being built, you can watch all the videos on how everything works in the motorhome. We also have all the interior and exterior dimensions. Plus you can join different travelers clubs as well. We have travelers clubs that have rallies all over the place. We just did, a, I think four or five rallies this spring our photo contest that we do every year which turns into our yearly calendars and we have some great prizes for that we even tell you what campgrounds are fantastic in different areas or secret hidden campgrounds we have some great blogs on there all my ltv members have live chat access to our service advisors and once you've taken delivery of your leisure travel van you have all of your owner's manuals for that leisure travel van including all the serial numbers of the components as well it's an absolute free service for all ltv TV owners, so make sure you sign up for my LTV. And when you own a leisure travel van, you get two years of roadside assistance through our exclusive roadside assistance benefit program, which includes technical support, roadside assistance, towing, tire assistance, emergency locksmith, emergency fluids delivery, jump starting RV, mobile mechanic, dealer locator assistance, and a concierge service. So that comes free for the first two years. Okay, if you love the inside on the beautiful Unity Murphy Bed Lounge, you're going to love the exterior. I can't wait to show you all the cool features outside the motorhome. Come on, let's start right over here on the passenger side or the campground side. First of all, we have optional Alcoa aluminum rims. We go with six rims, inner and outer on the back, all solid aluminum. We have the outside Durabrite finish on the uh, outside of them. This is kind of a nice little feature. You can push the mirrors in and out. They're also heated power mirrors. Got a nice little courtesy light for you getting in 
and out of the motorhome at night. Fiberglass step, so you have nice easy steps in and out. I love this transition area. This is molded fiberglass, ties the chassis into the motorhome. This is a great little feature. Optional outside TV, very cool, with a secondary sound bar. We have a sound bar inside, outside sound bar. You wanna listen to your favorite music. It's streaming Bluetooth as well. So nice smart TV. 40 inch TV, great for tailgating parties, things like that. If you don't order the TV, you've got more storage space. Now let's talk about storage. Storage is always important in the smaller the motorhome, like a class B van, you have no exterior storage whatsoever. Fiberglass door, you can see how it curves up and under. All done with galvanized sheet metal. We spray foam them so it's quieter when you're going down the road, also protects them. I love the built-in struts, not gonna hit you on the back of the head. And look how the door closes and then locks in place. Plus we have our own Leisure travel van key for locking the doors. We call it our switchblade key. You can see this, you get that switch blades out. Very cool, so you can lock the door, seal it up so nobody can get into your valuables. Okay, as we move this up, you can see this is our EPDM rubber hinge seal. So we don't have piano hinges or hinges that would rust and rust paint onto my beautiful full body paint. I don't want that. EPDM rubber hinge seal. Look how the door comes completely up. And right here we've got our 30 amp shore power cables. This is our standard 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Very important, you have to be pure sine wave because all of our electronics that we have now need clean power. When we turn on an inverter, which flips the batteries from 12 volt to 120 volt, you wanna make sure it's clean power so it doesn't damage any of our electronics. So pure sine wave inverter, 2000 watt standard on all Unity models. Okay, as we work our way down, we have our beautiful frameless glass windows. I like these are sexy looking because there's no frame. Awning style, open up. And over here, we've got our step that comes in and out with the motor. And right now we have it on camp mode. So when I turn it off of camp mode, it would automatically go up every time I open and close the door. Never panic if you have the step down. In camp mode, you turn on the ignition, it will automatically go up. Right here, we have our standard lithium batteries. We have 200 amp hours of lithium batteries. Let's have a look at this awning. The wind sensor on it, we're just gonna touch this button one time and out it's gonna come. It's gonna come out about seven feet and it's just over 12 feet in length. So nice big awning. Yeah, what a great awning, nice big awning, a nice sunny hot day today. I'm underneath in the shade. You can put your lawn chairs in here. We have an optional table, which I'm gonna show you in a second. You can have barbecue outside, sit back, enjoy breakfast, dinner, lunch, underneath an awning, absolutely fantastic. And you don't have to panic. If it's a super windy day, leave your awning in, but if the wind starts to blow, it will automatically close. Oh, how great is that? Nice, beautiful on. You can see the LED lights. So you have lots of light at night. We also have an LED light here. And look at this nice LED light here when you're going in and out of the motorhome so you can enjoy the great outdoors even at night. Okay, so we work our way down the motorhome. You can see the beautiful curved exterior wall. This is a vacuum bonded wall. Box tubular aluminum frame, two pound density polystyrene insulation, Vetrolite fiberglass exterior skin, vacuum pressed floor, box tubular steel, vacuum pressed, half inch plywood top decking. I mean, nobody builds the body like leisure travel vans. Wall, roof and floor are all one piece. Super strong, super insulated and super quiet when you're going down the road. Plus, we have full body paint. Each color, the white is painted three times, secondary color painted twice, and two coats of clear. So it gives it that nice, beautiful finish. Nothing looks like a Unity when it's going down the road. Everybody else builds a shoe box, square wall, square, square, square. This is curved. Molded fiberglass front mass, molded fiberglass rear mass, side transition mass, all molded. All ties together, ties into the chassis. I mean, you look hot when you're driving down the road, absolutely. Let's talk about this full body paint. We have eight different exterior colors. This is Eurosport. We have silver, graphite, shadow, glacier, champagne, white suede, and everybody's favorite, Atlantic blue. Eight different exterior colors. You can build in price on our web builder and you can build up the motor room with the exact color. You can actually see a picture of the colors that you picked. Interior, exterior, absolutely fantastic. Nobody builds the house, the box the motorhome like we do, nobody.
Plus, if you want to see exactly how we build every single motorhome, you can go on our website and you can look at our factory tour. We walk you through the entire factory. We do all of our own plumbing, electrical wiring. We do our own upholstery. We do our own fiberglass, our own metal work. Everything we build in-house here in Winkler, Manitoba. Great video. It's about an hour long. Sign up to see it. You're going to absolutely love to see exactly how we put all the parts together to create this absolute beauty. You're gonna love this little feature. This is a great option. It's called our outside exterior table. It mounts right in here and you have adjustable legs so you can adjust it to whichever height that you need. I have it a little high here. I can actually lower it on both sides here so I can drop it down so that it's nice and level. This is a great little outside table. It's all done with aluminum. It's powder coated so it's never gonna rust. It's super strong so you don't have to worry about a big guy like me sitting on there, not a problem at all. But I love it because you can have an electric grill here and you can do some uh, cooking outside or you can have your outside barbecue because we got a barbecue quick connect right over here. So I can plug in my barbecue right here and I can barbecue outside underneath my awning or just out in the great blue sky. Once I'm finished barbecuing, boom, it becomes a table. So you don't have to worry. If you do a lot of, if you do a lot of dry camping and you need to carry a table, great option to have. It just fits in the outside storage bin. And we call it our suitcase table because it just locks back into it a suitcase. So I really like this. I think it's just a great design, super strong. And look at this, turns into a suitcase for easy storage. Okay, as we work our way down, a couple little things. We have the beautiful fiberglass fender skirt, which is really cool. We have an outside 120 electrical plug. We go with six aluminum rims with a Dura bright finish on the outside of the rim. We spray foam underneath here. All of our wheel wells are spray foam. We spray foam underneath all of our tanks. Storage compartments makes it quieter when you're going down the road. Also, any damage from stones isn't gonna happen. And great option to have, we have an option for four point hydraulic leveling jacks. So you have four, two in the front, two in the back. Press the button automatically levels the motor home. Down underneath here, we have our optional propane generator, 3.6 kilowatt propane generator. When you order this option, you get auto gen start, which runs off the multiplexing system. Right here, we've got more storage. Once again, I love the EPDM rubber hinge seal, spray foam, galvanized sheet metal, super strong, won't crack, won't rust. We absolutely love it. Okay, so work away behind the motorhome. This is molded fiberglass, fully insulated rear wall. This is full body paint, two pieces to the molded fiberglass, a top part and a bottom part. This is your bumper part. LED lights throughout here. We've got our backup camera. We also have a secondary camera that runs off the mirror so that you can watch your tow vehicle. That's new for 2024 on the Mercedes-Benz chassis, which is really cool. Down below here, we've got our 5,000 pound receiver hitch and our seven pin connector for towing. So when it comes to towing, you have to know how much your motorhome weighs. So always make sure that you read the owner's manual, but the 5,000 pound receiver hitch is standard on all Unity motorhomes. Hey, exterior storage is super important and we have lots of exterior storage. Most small motorhomes, no exterior storage. This has exterior storage. Here's where we store our optional table. You can see all the storage area that we have here in the motorhome. So nice, big storage area, absolutely fantastic. Guaranteed two sets of clubs, three sets of clubs, no problem. MBL's got great interior and exterior storage. Hey, let's talk about the outside service center on a Unity Murphy bed lounge. You're gonna love this area because everything is in one place. I don't have to fill up water over there, dump the tanks over there. Let's start off right here. Optional macerator pump. I like this option because everything's already connected. I can pump uphill if I had to. You're plugged into a uh, sewer area, three inch line. There's a little knob on here. Make sure you take that off. Or if you've ever seen the movie RV, you will be the next sequel of that. But works right here, the pump dumps out all your solids. You pull your black tank and then you pull your gray valve and that cleans out the hose or you can always dump the traditional way with a three inch manual dump system. And we always include the three inch hose with the motorhome, even if you order the optional macerator pump. So over here, we've got our propane fill. So that's done by a certified propane filler. Always make sure you turn off the tank right here when you're uh, filling up your propane, or if you're going on ferries, certain tunnels, you have to turn it off as well. Right over here is our sani flush for cleaning your black water tank. So when you're gonna clean your black water tank, you have to be plugged into an outside sewer hose. 
right here. So you wanna make sure that you're plugged in, you open up the block valve, hook up your garden hose, pull the block valve, right? We always dump our black tank first, then our gray. So then you pull the block valve, turn on the water, and that will clean the black water tank and it goes down into the sewer tank down below. Right over here, we've got our satellite cable connection here. If you have a portable satellite dish, so we have a great option. We have the WineGuard T4 satellite dish. It does dish, direct, and bell, or you can have your own portable dish and you would then plug that in there. If the campground has cable, you'd plug it in there and you'd have cable TV up front. Talked about this, this is our macerator pump for dumping our tanks, propane disconnect switch right there, water pump. So. Let's say um, you got some pets and the pets' paws are all dirty. Just connect this in here. My friend Steve had a little hard time connecting that in and out. I get shot him a video and showed him how to do that. So then you would turn on your water pump. You have hot and cold running water disconnected. We just disconnected there. And right here is where we fill up our fresh water tank. That's done right here. So I run my water drinking hose, plug it into there, and then I can actually close this and nobody can tamper with my water system. That's how you fill your tank. And you've got water tank fill and your pressure water. So I wanna fill my fresh water tank. I turn it over to here and then I would then fill my fresh water tank. If I'm plugged into a service campground, I would then turn it over to city water, and then I have water. So you don't have to turn on your water pump at all when you are plugged into city water. The only time you turn on your water pump is if you're dry camping. When you're filling your water tank, you wanna use a fresh water drinking hose. It's very important to use that, not a rubber hose, otherwise you get the taste of rubber in your water. This is a winterizing bypass pickup hose. So this will pick up antifreeze and send it through the motor home. Or if you run out of fresh water and you're dry camping, you can get a jug of fresh water and you can suck this into your fresh water tank as well. And this is kind of cool for dumping your fresh water tank. You don't have to crawl all the way underneath the motorhome. You can just dump your fresh water tank using this little tool that we provide with all the motorhomes. Simple, everything's all in one place. Very easy to use. Okay, so we work our way forward. Once again, our beautiful curved walls. Let's talk about those. So we've got Truma air conditioner, 13,500 BTU, pin quiet. We have the Truma Vario heat furnace. This is the exhaust right here. And we also have the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. All three items are the best in the industry air conditioner, furnace, hot water heater. So what makes this hot water heater so fantastic is you have a couple little settings. You have eco and you have comfort. So when it's on comfort, it heats this little one liter of hot water, keeps it nice and hot. We have individual water lines that go into the shower, kitchen, and the bathroom hot water faucet. So when you turn on a hot water faucet, boom, you've got instant hot water. As it uses up that one liter of hot water, Boom, the propane 60,000 BTU burners click in and gives you unlimited continuous hot water. So Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, standard on all Unity models. And on all Unity MBL models, we have the Vario Heat and the Truma air conditioner. Okay, as we work our way down, right here we've got our 30 amp connection. If you're doing some uh, camping, you wanna be plugged into a 30 amp, this is where you'd plug in your shore power. We've also got a built-in surge protector, so in the event that that's bad power going into the campground area, boom, prevents it from coming in and damaging any electronics in the motorhome, so that's standard. And then down here, we've got a little more storage area. Nice big storage area here. I mentioned earlier when I was doing the service center that we always include the three inch hose, which we always do. That way, if there's a problem with the macerator pump or there's a, an electrical problem and you need to dump your tanks, you can still dump your tanks and not ruin your camping experience. Nice big storage area. Another nice big storage area. So two big storage areas on the driver's side of the motorhome. So you can see how stealth we are right now. Slide outs in, super stealth. Nobody can tell it's a slide out. Press of a button and look at this, slide out comes out. And I can tell you nobody builds a slide out like we build a slide out. Vacuum bonded walls, box aluminum framing, slide out box is made just like the motorhome itself and it just slides in and out. We got a slide topper awning on the top, prevents any debris, bird droppings, things like that. This is the big one. Come and look at how many screws to make one slide out box. I tell you, you count other people's slide outs, they have four or five that hold the entire slide out. I have eight screws in the first foot of the motorhome. This is solid. We also use a three seal process. We have a sweeper seal, we have a bulb seal, bulb seal. So when it seals together, it seals tight. Okay, you can see how super stealth 
the motorhome is, slide out in, you can't even tell it's a slide out. And of course, you can have the Murphy bed down with the slide out in if you're stopped at a rest stop. But look how beautiful it is. You can see the transition area, the transition molded fiberglass that ties into the chassis. I love this. We got our courtesy light. We also have our diesel fill, which is built right in so that I can fill up the diesel without having the door open, which then would allow diesel smell into the motorhome. And when I close it, it's locked so nobody can tamper with my diesel fuel and then look up here because you can see how we tie all of our fiberglass pieces into the chassis so it all looks like one going from head to toe it looks fantastic and you can see how beautiful this is how aerodynamic it is this is full fiberglass fully insulated front mask I mean but just look how gorgeous that is like I said you can see a leisure travel van coming down the highway for miles and miles away and of course powered on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis new for the 2024 model year forward We've got the new four-cylinder engine from Mercedes-Benz. So you've got more torque, more horsepower, nine-speed transmission, so you're going to get better fuel economy. We order everything with all of the Mercedes-Benz safety features, front end collision impact assist, lane keeping assist, LED headlamps. We've got fog lamps. I like this little feature for getting up here to clean your windshield. Right here is that little triangle or pyramid. That's the sensor for all the safety features that you have. I mean, if you've never driven a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, now is the time to go out and drive one, it's absolutely fantastic to drive. Wow, what an incredible motorhome for 2024, the Unity Murphy Bed Lounge. Great interior features, big TV, big bed, big bathroom, and big galley. Great interior storage, great exterior storage. Plus you have the new Mercedes-Benz motor in the Sprinter chassis. Fun to drive if you've never driven one, seriously. Go and see your local Leisure Travel Van dealer. The perfect two-person motorhome. Hey, check out our website at leisurevans.com. Go to build and price and you can pick your options and your colors, price it out. Make sure you go and see your local leisure travel van dealer. Check us out at an RV show and see these beauties in person. Take one out for a test drive. I think you're gonna absolutely love it. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. We always have great videos and information coming out all the time. Once again, I just wanna thank everybody who supports our company. We do appreciate it. Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans, thanks for watching the video. See you later.